Hey Leo, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is your general reading. We're going to take a look. We're going to see what's coming in for you guys. It is mid to the end of November 2022 and we're going to see what may be coming in. If you enjoy these readings, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. It's not going to resonate for everyone out there, okay? But it is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements, okay? You also could be dealing with the Leo. If you want a personalized tower reading, you know where to find me and your bonus extended can be found on Vimeo. The link is in the description box. Take a look if you're interested in that. All right, messages for Leos out there. Messages for Leos. Let's get the one card challenge. Leo, your energy, three of wands. Leo, you may be finding yourself moving away from something or someone, okay? This could be a situation as well. I feel like there's the energy of wanting something different, waiting for your ships to come in elsewhere, waiting for movement, waiting for progress. You may want to achieve something. It feels like you're looking into the horizon and you may be on the verge of moving. Some of you guys are like moving to a new city. Maybe there's some kind of change um, you're going after something that you're passionate about with that wand energy. Give me the recent past. Two of pentacles in reverse. We have the five of pentacles and a page of wands. I definitely get this sense of someone that you've been on and off with. And I'm seeing the energy of two of pentacles. Where maybe you were being juggled by someone, Leo. Maybe there was a lot of on and off behavior. Sometimes things were good. Sometimes they weren't. You may have felt like someone just didn't have enough time for you, okay? I'm hearing time, okay? Their investments were not in you and just you, okay? It could have been another person that they were entertaining on the side, perhaps. But I definitely get the sense with the Five of Pentacles, you felt alone. You didn't feel cared for. You didn't feel nurtured. You didn't feel protected. It makes you feel like there's the energy of you, you know, spending most of your weekends alone, even if you perhaps were with someone or even if you didn't have the title, you know, there was an understanding that maybe you were with them, but you felt alone. You didn't feel like they made time for you. There's the energy of feeling deprived of their love and also just feeling left out in the cold. I also feel like this is someone that played around with the page of wands. Um, you know, I'm getting the sense that it could have been a message that came through. You know, they could have been very passionate, could have been very flirty. But I, I think that's all it was. It doesn't feel like it was much more than that. And it really give you the st security, the stability that you wanted. Perhaps you didn't get a commitment from this person either. I just feel like they were all play and fun, okay? Give me the current energy. Where are things right now, Leo, in the situation that they're in? We have the Page of Swords. So, Leo, you may be trying to uncover truth. You may be looking for answers and finding out more, okay, about the situation, about this person. There's something that maybe you're investigating or doing research on, okay? When I say research, I'm getting like you asking people, you going online, social media, looking for information, okay? Trying to get a crack in the case, trying to find out about this person. Um, I'm seeing a Six of Wands and a Verse and a Temperance, so Sagittarius here. I think what you guys are trying to find out if this is something you should be waiting on because we have the temperance and it feels like Leo, it's not you, it's not for you to be patient. I think a lot of you guys, especially you being a fire sign, you want action, you want change, you want progress, you know, you want movement, wands is action, all these things. And it feels like with the temperance, this connection has really challenged you to be patient okay so with this temperance maybe you've taken some time and maybe you've been really like saying okay i'm going to give this person the benefit of the doubt i'm not going to jump uh to conclusions and you know the six of wands in a verse you know there's something here where maybe you're realizing it's not going to work out it's not going to be victorious it's not what i want and so i get the sense that there's something you're finding out or you're uncovering information to determine if this is something still worth waiting for, okay? Because a lot of you, you want to move on. That's your challenge. You know, you're, you're kind of at a point where you want to move on. You want some kind of change. Let's take a look at what's in the foundation. Ten of Cups. Four of Cups in reverse. Knight of Cups and how this person wants to move forward is the Emperor in reverse. So I get the sense that they can do a whole lot more, right? The Emperor in reverse doesn't really take control, right? They know that maybe they have 
um, an opportunity presented to them, right? There's a responsibility, but they don't always take the action necessary or at the time that it's needed. So it makes me feel like your person just isn't doing enough to show you how serious they are. Now, I will say the Knight of Cups, they do care for you. The Knight of Cups is telling me they may want to offer you their cup. They do care. The Knight of Cups, here I am. I'm thinking of you. You're my person. But I also get the sense this person has pushed you away. They may have rejected you many times and there could be some questions, you know, there's a lot of cups here. So it makes me feel like, you know, is there some confusion around where you stand? You know, perhaps this person says these things. I love you. I care for you. I'm thinking of you. But then when it comes time to show it, take action, move forward, the Emperor in reverse, you know, they're just not doing it. So something doesn't jive. Something isn't adding up. And I think a lot of you, Leo, you need this person to take the action in order to show you that they, they do mean business. They're serious about what they say. As far as the outcome, Leo, we do have the King of Wands. I think that you guys are definitely, you're in your energy, you know what you want, you're motivated, you're driven, and you're not taking, you know, anyone's BS, that's for sure. Two of Swords and the Two of Cups. You have a decision to make regarding this connection. Two of Cups, I care for them, I love them, but, you know, is love enough, right? And that could be a decision you're asking yourself. Two of Swords is not going to be an easy, easy decision. You're going to be kind of in your head. You're going to be in conflict about what's best for you and how to move forward. There could be something here you're having to cut out, Leo. Let's just be honest. Two of Swords, maybe, you know, there's a path you ought to be taking, but maybe there's a path that you have to say no to. Maybe there's someone you're having to leave in the dusk. And there is a head of a heart decision you're having to make coming into the near future. All right, so let's take a look and let's get some more insight. If this reading resonates for you, jump up. Ooh, Leo, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. Some of you guys, you may be dealing with the Gemini. I don't know how that slipped at the tongue. I don't even see Gemini energy here. So let's take a look. Leo, Leo, Leo. Three of Wands. Why is the Three of Wands the challenge for my Leos out there, please? Four of Swords, I think before you guys move forward or move on from something or someone, you really have to think. You know, the Four of Swords is rest, it's contemplation, it's long-term, it's deep thinking. It's like taking a moment and removing yourself from the everyday life, every, you know, your um, your responsibilities, your, uh, your family, your friends, and just sitting with yourself, sitting with your thoughts and really thinking about something because there's conflict here. And when the Four of Swords comes up, maybe you're in your head about something you're needing to like really find peace of mind and clarity and truth, right? So before you move forward, you know, make sure you take that Four of Swords energy. Make sure you really, really connect and find um, find some um, clarity amongst the situation here, okay? All right, let's take a look. In the recent past, we have, I mean, the Two of Swords wanted to come out just to just to like put it out there so it makes me feel like some of you guys you had a decision that you've been contemplating on for some time and then it's not until the outcome later like you know soon you're going to be finally making that decision so if there's been a decision you've been contemplating on i should i should uh say no i should talk to them i should reach out whatever there's something you've been wanting to do and it makes you feel like you're going to say you know what that's it i'm doing it because two swords is coming out in the outcome all right in the recent past give me the energy here Oh, there it is, Two of Swords. So yeah, it makes me feel like there, this is a long, this is overdue. And I think it really comes down to you being hurt. Queen of Swords, Three of Swords came out as well. So in the past, you know, there's something about you feeling maybe abandoned or this person not being there and present may have triggered some kind of abandonment or uh, something you may have gone through in the past, okay? And it feels to me with the Three of Swords, you guys have been wanting more. You've been hurt. You've been feeling down about it. Five of Pentacles, you've been feeling alone, maybe not feeling connected, okay, to this person as you would like to. And there's the energy of finding truth, clarity. I want to know where I stand. I want to know what's really going on. Some of you want to know for, for honesty. You, you, want, you want honesty from this person. You want to know what's really going on regarding maybe a another option that they may have. The Two of Pentacles could be a third party, King of Pentacles. It's almost like this person presents themselves well, just as card is here. And they may say everything that, you know, perhaps you like to hear, but are they really about it? Are they really ready to take the action? Are they going to show you? Because it feels like in the past, there may have been, you know, a situation where your person made a promise, King of Pentacles, a justice, I'm going to be there for you. I'm present. We're going to do this together. You know, um, you have all my undivided attention. It makes me feel like your person was in it. 
for the right reasons or you know gave you the impression but then maybe as time went by they were not okay so justice card is here in the recent past um there could have been a situation here also that you know you may recently reconcile with this person and justice card could be indicating of okay i'm ready to make these adjustments in order to be this person that you need me to be right um now the current energy give me the energy of the six of wands of temperance You've been patient, the temperance, the death, and the king of cups. This is a maybe a Scorpio. It could be a Cancer, Pisces. We also got Sagittarius. I think right now there's the energy of the death because change is needed. Change is on the horizon and change has to come in like now. And with this change, there's transformation of this connection. And it's transforming because something just isn't working anymore okay the six of wands universe you're not getting the attention you need you don't feel desired you're not feeling like that the passion is there it makes you feel like your person checked out so yeah there's love king of cups is here but i also think that the page of swords is you questioning is is the love enough or you know how how deep is your love right how much do you love me um how long do I have to wait? The temperance is here, right? There's something that you want, a goal, and you're not getting it. And so a lot of you guys are asking questions to find out, well, how far away are we to reaching this goal? Do you see me as marriage material? Are we ever going to be in a committed, loving relationship? Are you going to commit? Are we going to move in? You know, so um, let's jump right in. Let's see your person's energy. Ten of cups is here. Three of cups in reverse. I think that in order for them to have happiness with you, or bring the happiness that you want, okay? They're going to have to say no to maybe a third party situation or there may be some adjustments that are going to be needed with regard to other people. Whether this is like setting boundaries, saying no, or, you know, uh, making schedule changes or something about you guys coming together more, being present together. Why is there four cups here? Yeah, because there has been confusion. And this could look like many different things, but I feel like there's been other people confusing um bringing some kind of confusion to this connection in some way this could be fr family friends co-workers as well and it makes me feel like your person has to almost lose something the four cups is here it's almost like they have to lose you maybe even the death lose you in order to realize and get clarity seven of cups in verse that they do really care about you that they do want to safeguard and preserve this knight of cups is here so I do feel like an offer of love is coming in because Leo, your person for pentacles is not giving up. They're not letting you go. And I feel like more than anything, they don't want you to get away. So that four of pentacles tends to be a little greedy. It tends to like latch on to things and say, no, you're mine. And I almost feel like that's what your person's energy is. That they're saying, no, Leo, you're mine. You're not going anywhere. So just when you think something's over and, and completely done, and you're about to like close that chapter and move on because you waited so long for this person. Just when you're about to do that, your person gets the, you know, the light bulb goes off and they get the picture that perhaps you're not going to always be there for them. So I do see the Knight of Cups here. And the Knight of Cups is because your person's like going to come in and say, no, I really care for you. The Knight of Cups is like overwhelming, like love bombing. I'm here. I, I miss you. But give me the Emperor. Emperor is in reverse, okay? The Emperor is in reverse again, and then we have the Six of Swords. There's something here they're having to make peace with or resolve, okay? There's something from their past, and it feels like it is getting in the way or even blocking them in some way from moving forward with you the way they, they should. And so the Six of Swords can be resolving a past situation with a lover, resolving some kind of, um, you know, connection that, you know, may have been in and out of their life. There's an energy of like letting that go, making peace with it, maybe even closing that out. And I think by doing that, that is going to allow this person to be the emperor, be the person you need them to be, to be the leader, to move things forward. Now, I think also we have the two of swords. Maybe this two of swords is your person's decision. King of wands is there. That's your energy. And we have the two of cups. So there's a decision regarding a, a union, a connection. So this could be you or your person. Five of swords and a five of cups. So someone has to make a decision. And this decision could be made um, essentially to resolve an issue between you and them. Okay. So for some of you Leos, this could be your person saying, you know what? I'm going to make you happy. I don't want to fight anymore. I don't want us to be at odds. Five of swords in verse. I want us to resolve this. And part of it could also be like they feel bad. There's regrets. There's there's a feeling of um, I disappointed you. Five of cups. I feel guilty. I, I'm, I'm remorseful. I could do a whole lot more. And so someone is going to make that decision. So there's a big decision. It may require a person cutting out something in order to show you that, you know what, this is what I want and you're worth it. And so the King of Wands, I do get the sense that, yeah, 
They know that. They know that you're worth it. And they do desire this connection. So that is what I'm seeing. Um, again, the challenge is the three of wands. So this is something that will move forward. But I do feel like this break is necessary. And this break can be very healthy for you guys to get back on the right track. So this four of swords, you know, don't overanalyze, don't overthink. Really use this time, Leo, to connect with yourself, to go within. Four of swords healing. It's it's finding clarity and peace of mind. And stop, you know, stressing, overreacting. It's going to be okay. Four of swords, okay? So Leo, that is what I have. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this reading and I'll check you guys out soon. Take care.